So this one, um, basically you've got a cylinder attached to a cone. Now the area of a cylinder, just like any other kind of regular um, sort of shape in this way, we, it's, you can imagine that's the area, that's the height. And so the volume, oops, hang on a second. So the, the volume is going to be equal to the area times the height. Now the area of the circle at the top of the cylinder is obviously pi r squared. So the volume of a cylinder is going to be pi r squared h. So this, the first volume, I'm just going to, okay. So the, so the volume of the cylinder part of the pencil is just going to be pi r squared h. And it's given you the volume of the cone at the end. Um, so the total volume, so this, I guess I'm just going to put, this is the volume. Well, yeah, that's the volume one. And then the total volume, which I'm going to call volume T is going to be equal to, um, pi R squared. Actually, let's change, get rid of R and then replace it. Um, they have done a little bit of a trick here. They've, they've got this in millimetres and this in centimetres. We want our answer in cubic centimetres, so we need to convert any, any measurements into centimetres. So 8 millimetres is going to be 8 millimetres is equal to 0 0.8 centimetres. 18 millimetres is equal to 1.8 centimetres. So, and then the other trick that they've done is that this is this would be the diameter, so not the radius. So this is going to be um, the radius would be equal to 0 0.4. Oh, hang on, um, the radius would be equal to 0 0.4 centimeters. Um, so, so the volume is going to be equal to um, pi times. Um, 0 0.4 squared times the height or the length in this case, so times 15. So we'll put brackets around that for now and we'll add it to the volume of the cylinder at the end. Um, it has the same radius, so the cylinder is one third times pi times 0, times 0 0.4 uh, squared times the new height, which is 1.8 um, centimetres. Uh, yeah, 1.8 centimetres. So basically, if you put all that together, you should get the volume of the pencil. Okay, so mistake here is the length of this cylinder is not actually 15, it's 15 minus 18, or um, because it includes this length up here. So the so that so we'd have to amend this bit here. So 15, 15 minus eighteen would be um, sorry fifteen minus one point eight would be um, 14, 13.2. and then that should give us the right answer. Okay, so you should find that the volume should equal 6.94 centimeters cubed.